Welcome back to my Retro Food Series, I'm Johnny and in this episode I'm going to show you how to make a trifle. First step what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the fruit into the jelly itself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a, a little jar like this, but you can use a bowl, you can use anything you want. You're going to pour some fruit in. Spread it out at the bottom so it's nice and even. Get the jelly which I've already dissolved into hot water. Pour it over so it just covers. I'm going to put it in the fridge, leave it to set, and then we'll crack on with the custard later on so you get the definitive layers. So I've got my jelly set or setting. Now I'm going to teach you how to make a homemade custard. None of this peel out the thing, pour it onto the top of the jelly. None of that. It's so easy to make and it's so simple. Okay, 250 ml of whole milk, one vanilla pod, 32 grams of sugar and three egg yolks on a bowl and whisk to cream it. So I've got my pan on, I've got my pan on, milk in, so what we're going to do now, we're going to bring it up to the boil. Get the bowl. This is one of the most important bits. So you've got your three egg yolks and your sugar. Now we're going to cream. If you want to give this recipe a go and find out all the ingredients, just have a look at the description box. So what I'm doing now, I'm whisking until it's changed colour and it's light and it's fluffy. This trifle isn't the quickest trifle to make, but it's the nicest trifle. So, we're not going to ruin it and we're not going to buy pre-made custard. We're going to, there's no point, you can't have a trifle without custard, so why don't you just make your own? Keep going, you can't really over whisk this. This is just making it lighter. I think, I think that'll do. I think we'll leave that. So look, milk's coming up to the boil. The most important bit of this recipe is to pour the milk onto this. Never that onto this, because you will curdle the eggs and you'll start again. Just, not, just, just remember that point, please. So pour it on, mix, make sure everything's mixed, back into the pan, and I've already put the heat onto a lower heat, because I'm going to cook it gently, and this is where it starts to thicken, okay, so you've got to watch it, and you've got to be careful, you don't want it to boil rapidly or it's just gonna it, it's just gonna it's just gonna be a mess. What we're doing we're just watching whilst it's thickening. Make sure it's on a low heat so you can control the temperature, control, you know, if it's too hot, we can pull it off, let it cool, put it back on. So it started to thicken, as you can see. And the old classic method of swipe the spoon and it still stays there. Oh that's nice. That is really, really, really nice. So what I'm doing now for the trifle is I'm going to try and cool this down as quick as I possibly can. So I'm getting it into a bowl with a lot of ice underneath with a bit of water. Give it a stir. I want to try and cool this down as quick as possible so I can carry on building the trifle. So just leave this to one side now, back of the kitchen, leave it to cool for say 20 minutes. It's under ice, it might not even take that long. Then we can start assembling the trifle. So now that the custard's cool, we're going to put it on top of the set jelly. And if you're liking this recipe, hit the subscribe button for more. If you look at this now, set and see the, the real definition of what, what we're going to get at the end of this, you're going to get straight, straight, cream. So this is a really obvious bit, but make sure you take out the vanilla pods because although the custard is going to be the greatest custard that you've ever eaten, eating a whole vanilla pod won't be. It will be... Just, just vile. So make sure you've got all the vanilla pods out. Be as dainty as you can. So give it a quick tap just to even it out. And if you have a look there, you can already see the trifle starting to come together. We're just going to leave it to set, stick it in the fridge, let it cool down a bit more. Then I'm going to show you how to make the cream. So now onto the cream. I have got 300 grams of whipping cream. 50 grams of caster sugar and some sherry. We're going to make a sherry cream, which is just it's a little bit different than your average, maybe Chantilly cream or just plain sweet cream. Just trying to bring it and give the trifle a new kind of element. So this goes into the bowl with the sugar straight away and the sherry. I mean, 
let's not be irresponsible. We're not getting drunk. Um, we just need a dash. More than enough. If you want to have a glass of sherry at the side and you want to have a drink, yeah, that, that's fine. But don't put it all into there because it will just be far too alcoholic and it will be horrendous. Okay, so just leave it. Just a dash and it'll be fine. So, it whipped. So that's it. Give that a quick try. See, with that, it's just a hint of sharing. It's just, it's not overpowering and it's quite subtle with the sugar as well. So, you've got a piping bag. You don't have to pipe it in, but it's a bit easier. I'm just adding a little bit of a chefy touch to it. So, piping bag, you turn and then you lift up. So you can just start to see it there. So, the custard's been set in, the strawberries have been set in, and now you've ended up. So, you've got the cream. How to pipe, you turn it, you start from the middle, and you work your way out. And that's a lovely little cream. Now, I've got some chocolate. A grater. I'm just going to put some shavings over the top. Now, sponge fingers. Okay. You can't really have a trifle, can you, without sponge fingers? Put them all in, different angles, different shapes, different sizes, everything. Just stick them all in. A couple more strawberries, just on top for a bit more colour. Again, finish it off. Depending on how much of a chocolate lover you are. Couple more sprit, couple more scrapes. And there you are. That's my take on the trifle. And hands down, that will be the best trifle you have ever eaten. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>